The Midview GT is Huawei's first stab at a proper gaming monitor, which is kind of hard to believe because it is a bit bloody good. Now, that 34-inch screen boasts a gorgeous ultra-wide finish, you've got HDR ready visuals and a silky smooth 165Hz refresh rate, plus a built-in light-up soundbar for extra snazziness. Now, I've been testing out the Huawei MateView GT by playing intensive games like Doom Eternal and Forza Horizon and basically having my arse handed to me over and over and over again. You're very welcome. And for more of the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe and ding that notifications bell. Cheers. So setting up the Huawei MateView GT is as simple as you could possibly hope. You basically just stick that screen onto the arm, takes a matter of seconds, and you're pretty much good to go. Now, metallic finish is very pleasing on the eye from all angles, and the panel itself isn't too chunky, although you will need a decent bit of desk space in order to accommodate the MateView GT. That monitor is fully adjustable, so you can raise or lower the panel on its post, a few inches at least, and you can also adjust the angle up and down for a comfortable view. And you've got pretty much all the cables that you'll need bundled in the box, borrowed HDMI if you want to get connected up that way. Slide off that back cover and you will find a decent selection of ports hidden away there. You've got one USB-C used solely for power, you've got another USB-C which can be used for video, or else you've also got your pick of two HDMI 2.0 ports, as well as a separate display port connection. And cunningly hidden away beneath the Huawei MateView GT's display, you'll find a dinky little joystick nub thingy. And this is used to jump into the settings menu and mess around with all the usual bits like brightness levels, contrast, and so on. You could also create your own custom color outputs. You've got a, an eye comfort blue light filter mode, which you can mess around with as well. And some gaming stuff, which I'll touch on in a bit. And the actual joystick nub can be a little bit fiddly, but it is otherwise fine. Because one of the highlights of this monitor is the 34 inch curved LCD display. This sports respectably skinny bezels and a 21 by 9 ultra wide design, which is ideal for racing games. And I also appreciated that extra viewing space in action titles like Doom Eternal, so you can see all those sneaky demon twats creeping up on you from the sides. The WQHD 3440x1440 resolution keeps the visuals nice and crisp, and you've got supremely sharp contrast as well with full HDR10 support. And it's more great news on the colour side of things as well because you've got very accurate colour reproduction. 100% of that sRGB gamut is covered off as well as 85% of the Adobe RGB on those default colour settings. And the Delta E score is under 2%. So the Huawei MateView GT monitor is ideal for creators as well as gamers if you want to get a bit of photo or video editing on the go. And that 165Hz refresh rate is ideal for gaming on supported fast-paced titles where split-second reactions are essential so you don't end up smashing into a friggin' wall or whatever. I certainly didn't notice any screen tearing issues, any lag, anything that would detract from the overall gaming experience. And my display test recorded a screen brightness just over 400 nits on the MateView GT as well, so that's perfect for gaming in any kind of ambient conditions. And if you dive back into those monitor settings, you'll find the Game Assistant mode. This includes the Dark Field Control feature, which can brighten up darker scenes, help you spot anyone lurking in those shadows. And there's also a Crosshair feature as well, if your aim is a bit crap. Now, built into the stand of the Huawei MateView GT monitor, you've also got the added bonus of a stereo soundbar. This packs in dual 5 watt speakers and the audio quality is strong, certainly goes very loud indeed and produces a fairly respectable stereo effect. Although if you are playing a game where danger can come from any angle, I definitely recommend going with a surround sound headset just to give you that extra edge. And you've also got that snazzy RGB light strip as well, which according to Huawei can produce 8 dazzling lighting effects, although thankfully not too dazzling, that might be slightly distracting. And this light strip is actually touch sensitive as well, you can slide your finger along that bar to adjust the volume quickly quickly and easily, definitely very handy indeed, and also double tap it to mute. You've also got a dual mic arrangement built into that MateView GT as well with 4 meter far field voice pickup and a bit of background active noise cancellation smarts. And this certainly seems to do the job absolutely fine for a bit of zoom calling, something like that, but if you are going to be gaming, again, just get a proper headset on the go. So alright, there's my final thoughts on the Huawei MateView GT gaming monitor, and as I say, for their first stab at it, it's definitely a very worthy effort. Sleek design, strong connectivity, gorgeous looking visuals and the added bonus of the built-in soundbar as well. So that's my review, but it'd be great to hear your thoughts down in the comments below. And for more on the latest and greatest tech, please do plug subscribe, ding that notifications bell, and have yourselves a fantastic rest of the week. Cheers, everyone. Love you.